Definitely go to Cork Copping now in the Storm Tracker Center for your forecast this first full week of spring. Yeah, that's right, Lynn. It's the first Monday of the spring season, and today we do have a bit of wet weather that I'm tracking for you as you're heading out the door this morning. Now, it's mostly going to be limited to our mountain areas today. Some very modest sprinkles heading through the valley early on this morning. Windy conditions on the way for Tuesday. Really through Thursday, we could see some gusty conditions. After that as well, we are also tracking just warmer weather on the way in your forecast. How about some 70s? For the valley. Now, temperatures this morning starting out very mild. We're in the 40s to low 50s in the valley right now, 30s to 40s in the foothills, and 30s in our mountain areas. Wind not very strong early on today, but we'll see north wind picking up to around 15 miles an hour this afternoon, and the wind getting stronger as we head into your Wednesday in the valley. So today we're looking at 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts. Tomorrow it's 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts in the afternoon. So keep that in mind. If your garbage days tomorrow, those cans may be blowing all over the place. Remember, it's around 28 miles an hour that you need those gusts that could knock over a garbage can outside. So just keep that in mind with your outdoor patio furniture. I know a lot of you prepping for spring over the last weekend. Keep that in mind. The winds are picking up. Meanwhile, on Wednesday, it's those areas of the foothills and canyons that see those gustier winds in the morning. Satellite and radar showing you that we do have some very light precipitation moving through today. It's snow in our mountain areas above 3,500 feet for the northern zone. So Shasta, Siskiyou, Trinity County, that's where our snow level is. If you're in portions of the Sierra today, snow level mainly above 4,500 feet. So right now what we're seeing, some pockets of lighter showers rolling through areas of Butte County, some snow in Plumas County area. Most of the valley showers are wrapping up early on today, and this is all being drawn in by this low pressure up to our north. It's going to drop down to the south off to our east, and this is what's known as an inside slider event. So that's going to be driving those gusty north winds over the next couple of days. Throughout the day, most of the wet weather is really just limited to our mountains. Noon today, not a whole lot going on out there. And then we will see that chance for more showers moving down in later tonight, and we could even see some sprinkles in parts of the valley between 10 p.m. and midnight after that. We are drying out with sunny skies and windy conditions on the way for your Tuesday. As far as what's going on with those rain totals as we head through today, less than a quarter of an inch is what's projected to fall where we do see rain, and that's exclusively higher elevations. As far as snowfall goes, one to maybe two inches on the way in today's forecast, so not a whole lot of an impact. But nonetheless, you may be dealing with a bit of rain and snow if you're in those mountain areas today. Rain and snow with snow down to 3,500 feet in the northern mountains, 50s to low 60s for your Monday afternoon. For the Sierra and Southern Cascades, it's 40s to 50s later today. Cloudy with rain and snow. Snow levels down to 4,500 feet. Foothill areas, a chance for some very light showers this morning and then partly cloudy for your afternoon with 50s to low 60s. And if you're in the valley, it is mid to high 60s, mostly cloudy to start the day, partly cloudy for your afternoon, 65 degrees in Redding, 66 degrees in Chico. It looks like a gorgeous Monday on tap in your forecast. And we get even warmer in your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast for your weekends always in view. Mid to high 60s with gusty north winds tomorrow, low to mid 70s on Wednesday. After that, we'll see a little dip on Thursday with a chance for mountain showers. And then Linda, mid 70s Friday with mid to high 70s, potentially low 80s on the way for your upcoming weekend forecast.